Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. How have you been? I'm here. <laughs> okay, how have you been? It is the same of saying, how are you? How are you doing? Right? Okay, we're waiting for your classmate. Let's see, we have, uh, well, we are on time. It is eight o'clock. We cannot wait more for them. <clears throat> so we are going to start. Okay, I have here this randomizer and uh, what we are going to do is, I'm going to pin it and then what you have there, what you can see, it is the answer. In the chat box, you have to write down the question that you consider is the correct for this answer. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to spin it and then now we are going to see what is the question for this answer. This is an answer. You can store the 90 cars 
on a warehouse. What is the equation? Type it on the chat, please. I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> okay, para los que van ingresando, I have here a, an answer. Lo que ustedes pueden ver es una respuesta de una pregunta que no está. ¿Cuál podría ser esa pregunta para obtener de respuesta? You can't store the 90 cars on a warehouse. Y esa pregunta la van a escribir en the chat box. Vamos a ver. Which might be the correct one. Okay? And that's what I'm waiting in this moment in the chat box. Ok, Osvaldo, de hecho es la respuesta a la que usted está viendo. Necesitamos la pregunta. Ah, sí, perdón, me acabo de entrar. <risa> ok, don't worry. No sé qué era de, de si se podía o no. <risa> ok, no. We are going okay. to, to guess what is the equation. ¿Cuál podría ser la pregunta para esa respuesta? Ok, okay let's see. Tenemos la primera. Tenemos dos. Jennifer says, Can you store 90 cars on a warehouse? And Berta Lilian says, Where you can 90 cars? And por el momento, none of them is the correct Question. You can continue guessing, okay? Try to guess. Try to guess what can be the correct question. The first try for Jennifer and the first try for Berta. What about the others? Vamos, chicos. Let us try. Osvaldo says, how many? But you need to write down the complete question. Osvaldo. Okay, Berta says, can you store 90 cars in the warehouse? No, no, ¿verdad? Luego les voy a decir por qué no, ¿ok? But I'm waiting a little bit more participation.
Okay, no more options. Can I just throw the 90 cards? No, Rose. One more try and then I'm going to tell you. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. When you try, that is a good possibility because we are going to understand some aspects, <laughs> but don't cry. <laughs> Okay, one more, guys. Let me see. Oh, come on, Elsie, you haven't participated. Jessica, Jessica, Kenya. Hello. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Uh, sí, me acabo de conectar y no sé qué están haciendo. Ah, okay, okay. Igual, teacher. Okay, los tengo acá. Tratando de descifrar cuál podría ser la pregunta para obtener esa respuesta que ustedes están viendo. Y algunos de sus compañeros ya hicieron algunos intentos y las han escrito ahí en el chat box. Pero todavía no hemos dado con la pregunta correcta. Ok. Let us try. So let's say esperando one more participation and then I'm going to tell you. Ahorita voy yo te Okay. Okay, Osvaldo has uh shared something. Osvaldo says, Where can I store 90 cars in the warehouse? Como decimos, caliente, okay? But it is not the correct question yet, uh, Osvaldo. Let's see, Rose. How many cars can I keep in the warehouse? Um, kind of. <laughs> okay, good. And Elsa has, let's see, ya casi, casi, Rose. Where? Where can you store the 90 cars? Mm. Um, <clears throat> casi, casi. <laughs> casi, casi. Solo por una palabra. Maybe we are not going to accept it. I'm going to tell you. Okay? La que está más cerca mm -hmm. es the last question. Vamos a ir descartando ¿Cómo? las opciones que ustedes han puesto. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, Jennifer, eh, Berta, Rose, comenzaron with the question, for example, can you, dicen, dice, can you store the 90 cars? Can you store 90 cars in the warehouse? Si esa fuera la pregunta, la respuesta que ustedes ven tendría que decir, yes, you can, or no, you can't. Eso tendría que decir si mi pregunta fuera, can you? Por lo tanto, I have to change, and it is not a yes no question. It is a WH question. Y varios escribieron ya la WH question. Por ejemplo, uh, Osvaldo. Osvaldo escribió una WH question. De hecho, Berta escribió la primera que dijo, Where you can 90 cards? And you forgot to use the verb, Berta, in the first try. 
Porque solo puso where you can 90 cards. Entonces, the best option is um, Osvaldo dijo where can I store 90 cards? Hasta ahí llegaba la pregunta Osvaldo. Hey, where can I store 90 cars? Porque si usted dice in the warehouse, ya está dando the information. Mm, But we, okay, so we don't have yes. to give the, the answer. So, where can I store 90 cars? La respuesta será in the warehouse. You can store the 90 cars in the warehouse. Por lo tanto, Elsie también estuvo... A, a una palabra de estar correcta, la única uh, que tendríamos que cambiar el sí es you for I. Where okay. can I where can I store the, the 90 cars? Y la respuesta será you can store the 90 cars, right? Okay, do teacher. You, okay, do you understand all the options that you wrote, uh, the mistakes that we have? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take this out. And then we are going to have another one. Okay, what is the equation for this one? What is the equation for this answer? This, are, this is an answer. Vamos, again, let us try. What is pile up? I don't see. You cannot see? The question. They can what? They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. They can pile up uh, the boxes tomorrow. Pile up en español es apilar. Yes. Okay, thank you. Teacher, pero ahí está en futuro. Está diciendo que ellos apilarán las cosas mañana. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, then we have, uh, let's see, Kenya, no. Okay, Elsie, Patricia, Berta, Osvaldo, and Rose. Oops. Okay, I'm going to read it. It says, Elsie says, where can they pile up the boxes? Where, when can they pile up the boxes? Patricia, when... Can I pile up the boxes? Berta, when they pile up the boxes? Osvaldo, when can you pile up the boxes? Rose, when can they pile up the boxes? Jennifer, when can they go into pile up the boxes? Osvaldo, when can they pile up the boxes? When can they pile up the boxes? When they, okay. Okay, that is the correct, that is the correct um, answer. Then most of you did it. The correct answer is when, when can they pile up the boxes? Ah, they can pile up the boxes tomorrow 
Okay. Even though it says tomorrow, Jennifer, no vamos a poner in future, as you said, going to pile up, right? No. We're going to say, when can they pile up the boxes? Teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yes, Elsie. Yes, Elsie. I'm not. Excuse me, I couldn't. No, no dije nada yo. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Creo que fue alguien más. Yeah, and I couldn't see. I couldn't see who who was that person. Yo fui. Yo fui. Okay, Berta, dígame. El verbo auxiliar va antes del proverb, del pronombre, entonces. Where can they? Yes, because it is a question. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, because it is a question. Okay, we are going to take it out, and now we have another one. No, we can't. We can't move all the televisions. What is the equation? Okay, we have the first ones. Okay, Jennifer says, can you move the televisions? Can we move the TVs? Can they move the televisions? Okay, ya vamos, ya vamos. Solo vamos um, a ir viendo los pronombres, okay? In this case, it says, no, we can't. Okay. Can you move the televisions? Can we move? Can you, can I move the televisions? Can you move? Okay. The correct answer is, can you move the televisions? Por qué can you? Because the other person is telling you directly. Y es a usted y a alguien más. Entonces le preguntan, can you move the television? Entonces usted va a responder, no, we can't. Y va a responder por los dos. You and the other person. No, we can't. We can't move all the televisions. This is a yes, no question, okay? Good, ahora sí, eh, hubo mm, respuestas más acertadas. And indeed, it is because they are yes, no questions. Y comenzamos con el auxiliar directamente. Good. Take it out, and then I'm going to... Okay, next one. You can store them in the back room. You can store them in the back room. You can store them in the back room. Ahí tiene otra, otra dificultad, ¿ok? Vamos a ver.
Okay, we have the first ones. Okay, Berta, una clave para identificar si comienza con the auxiliary can o con una WH es si la respuesta comienza con un yes, I can, no, I can't, or no, you can't, esas son yes, no questions y comienzan con the auxiliary can. Pero si la respuesta no comienza con ningún yes, I can, or no, you can't, son WH questions, Berta. ¿Ok? Let's see, Osvaldo says, where can I store them? Where can I store them? Elsa, where can I store these things? Okay, good try. These things, plural, that is okay. Where can you store this? Jennifer, Rose, where can I store this? Okay, Jennifer and Rose. Todo está bien hasta store. The only word that is not correct is this. Jennifer and Rose. Oh, because this is in singular and this is a plural. A plural, plural, yes? plural because the, the answer says them. It is plural. Okay. Them. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay. In LC, you combined, you combined one singular with plural. For example, you say, where can I store this is singular and things is plural. So, podríamos decir, where can I store these? Remember the plural form? These. Yeah. These things or these products. Plural, plural. Pero ahí me combinó one singular and one plural. Right? Okay, teacher. So, Osvaldo, Osvaldo, you did it correct. Where can I store them? Él no se complicó. Él utilizó the same object pronoun y dijo, yo no sé qué son, pero yo voy a utilizar el mismo, okay? Where can I store them? Okay, you can store them in the back room. And that is okay. That is okay. Okay? So, you did it. Now, let us go with the... Last one. What do we have? Ah, we have two. We have two. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. Yes, she can. She can sign the form. Teacher, in Spanish, the word sing. Signed is Signed? firmar. Firmar. Ah, okay, Ajá. thank you. Okay. The form, la, el formato. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. okay, Berta, ahora yes. Can she sign? Se me lengua la traba, ¿ok? Can she sign the forms? Solo nos hace falta la question mark, ¿verdad? And then, can she sign the forms? Can she sign the forms? Can she sign the form? Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok. Now, everyone got, them, got it correct. Good. And the last one, the last one is this one. Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product.
Okay. Okay, Berta says, can I give you information at the product, of the product? And Osvaldo says, can you give, can you give, ahí nos faltó algo Osvaldo, okay, creo, no, Adilson. Can you give information of the product? A quien, can you give, a quien? Osvaldo, can you give me information of the product? Okay, Jennifer, can you give, um me information of the product yes rose can i give ahí nos hace falta a quien también rose and elsie can you give me information of the product okay the best option rose and berta como la respuesta dice yes i can i can give you entonces estamos hablando con alguien personalmente Entonces, la otra persona va a hacer la pregunta, can you give me information of the product? Y usted le va a contestar, yes, I can give you information of the product. Yes, okay. That is good, guys. So, this is like the review from yesterday, the exercises that we were working with. Very good. And these are the exercises that you have already completed. These exercises, you can find them in the book, right? You have these exercises in the book, so for you to complete them, they are exactly the same. Now, of course, we're going to have here the lesson four for today's class. And uh, we are going to continue, of course, with different vocabulary related to products and the way that we have to uh, store them. The main objective for today, it is that uh, we are going to be able to use be going to in context, in a conversation, in groups in which some products are being shipped to their home places. This work is what... Uh, introduces now our lesson for today. So of course, we have two different contexts. We have the be going to, and also we have vocabulary related to shipping. Now let's see. And then we are going to see this. Asistencia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Okay, be ready with your cameras, please. Berta Lilian. Present. Okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Uh, Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana.
Present. Present. Ok. okay. José Adilton Vázquez García. Present teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. ¿No está Remberto ahora? Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Ok. Kenia Lisette Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Good. Luciana Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Tijera. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michel Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present dicha. Wilmer Alegría. Alexander Mendoza García. Present dicha. Amanda es Gabriela Escobar. Ok. Ok, guys, now this is the first. Now we can continue. Okay, I have here the word shipping. Shipping, what is shipping? Have you ever heard the word shipping? Comprar. That is shopping. Enviar, envío. Okay, that is shopping. Shipping, shipping, it says that. Envío. It is related, it is related to that, right? It is, we have shipping, shipping address is the location a consumer prefers to have an order delivered, which may not be the same as billing address. For example, let us imagine that you have a business, right? And then the, right. you buy different products. And then we have the shipping address is the place, is the address where you want the product nor in your house, maybe in your house you have the billing address or the mailing address. But this is not the place where you want. You want your product. The product for your business is the shipping address. Right? Excuse me. Patricia Alvarado, didn't I mention? Okay, let me see. Let me check. I'm gonna check because it is not on because I I I download it from from the place but Yes, your name is not here. I'm going to check later, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Because I did it from the original place where it is the original uh, attendance. And it is not there, your name. But I'm going to check it. Okay. And then, so we have shipping. Shipping address is that. The place when you want to have your products. And also, as I have here, billing address, it can be called mailing address. 
It is the same. Billing address or your mailing address. This is usually, it says, the apartment or the house where you live. So all the bills are going to be there. But no. Ambas son lo mismo, teacher. Mm, billing no. address and mailing address es lo mismo. Billing and mailing, yes, because it goes with the place where you live, but not the shipping oh. address. Shipping oh, okay. address is for your business, right? Okay. Yeah. And then that is what we have here. Mailing address, shipping address. And um, why is it important for us to understand this? We have the two. We are just comparing. And it says, we have that shipping generally refers to the transport of large items using trucks, ships, airplanes, or trains. It is the means of transportation. Maybe uh, the product is going to be by a truck, maybe by trains, maybe by airplane, maybe for different ways of transportation, right? But whenever we say shipping, it is because a means of transportation is getting the product to a place. That is what we understand. That shipping, it goes from place A to one point to point B. And the mailing uh, is refers to the sending a letter using the traditional postal service. This is the difference between both of them, the mailing and the shipping. But if we go deeper and we um, have very specific information in your book, you have this um this like uh, card this is the example and then we have like the questions here we have different aspects for example it says what is the shipping address what is the shipping address From here, what do you think it is the shipping address? Direction and view. Aha, uh -huh. so, and that might be? This one, right? And what is the mailing address? Direction postal. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. And what is that? What is that? Okay. How many units are in the package? We are trying to read and to understand this. How many packages do we have here? Do we have packages? What is the manufacturing date? With an umbrella overhead and a Komodo that's red, here's Japan. Just one, but <laughs> contains 65 units. Okay, the units are here. Yes, we have the 65 units. These are the numbers of packages. And what is the manufacturing date? Uh, it's M if gate date 12 for 2013. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. 120. Aha, uh -huh, but that is the weight, right? That is the weight. But this is 
mailing address is Litoral Road number 34, La Unión, El Salvador. Okay, and the shipping address? Uh, what is the mailing address? Uh -huh. mm. This, uh, what is the shipping address? Aha, uh -huh. what is the shipping and what is the mailing? What is the shipping and uh -huh. receipt? What is the es shipping? Donde okay. Este será un shipping o será un mailing address? Shipping address? Mailing address. Shipping. Shipping address. Or is, is it mailing address? The shipping address. The shipping address. Why, why it is not mailing address? Uh, This is because you are receiving products, right? So this is based on business. That is why we have here shipping address, right? This is the shipping address. We don't have mailing address because this, this is not a letter. When we send a letter, that is the mailing address. For example, yeah. let me see. For example, when we have the letter, like this one, when I have the letter, I have the address here. That is the mailing address, right? But in this right. case, we have only the shipping address. Okay, now okay. let us imagine, let us imagine that you have your own business and you want to have your uh, product. You want to have, you want to receive it in the, uh, your address, but it says, you are going to create a shipping label. Then with a partner, create a conversation where one asks for information about the shipping and the other in agent. Switch roles and present to the class. What are you going to do? You are going to write a short conversation You are going to write a short conversation and you are going to design a shipping label. You are going to do this. So it means that you need to type a word, a file or a slide of a PowerPoint and you are going to take as a copy this sample and you can you can uh, design one very similar to this one right but you are going to have that really short conversation with your classmate do you understand what you are doing in this moment yes, yes. okay <laughs> ah but i'm going to do it manually because of the listeners. Let me see. Esto es lo que ayer creían que era la asistencia. No, I'm just asking you if you are going to work, right? With your classmates. Okay, let's see. Berta, you can work, Person. right? Okay. Yeah. Berta and Rose. Rose, can you work in this moment? Rose. Yes, teacher, excuse me. Yes, okay. Teacher. Okay, Berta and Rose, you go together. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, Elsie. Yes, teacher. And uh, Valeria, Michelle. Valeria, yes. can you work? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, you go together too. Then I have another Jennifer. Yes, teacher. And Remberto. Okay. Okay. Okay, you too. Then Jessica Araceli Diaz. Digo todo el apellido porque es como son dos Jessicas. Yes. Jessica Diaz, you can work. Yes? Okay. Okay. And uh, Osvaldo Garay? Present, yes. Okay. You go together. And then I have uh, Jessica Carolina Rodriguez. No. Jose Adilson Vasquez? Yes, teacher. Okay. And Kenya Barrera? Kenya? Kenya? Yes, teacher. Okay. So you go together. Okay, guys. I think that no more five in seven minutes that is the time that we have to work with this label in the short really short conversation using this vocabulary okay let us go and work
sería you have shipping address. Uh -huh. Now o de afternoon, no sé, póngamele un tiempo, eh, porque ahorita no sabemos en qué momento, o sea, te estás preguntando, ¿tú harás un envío? ¿Más tarde? Ah, le puedes poner mañana. Ajá, como para tener un poquito más de información y poder responder. Puede ser, pero no sé, no sé si oh, sería. le podemos para... poner cuándo, yeah, ponerle when. Are when you have you are, Estamos where you send uh, products? ¿Cómo? When you send a product. O sea, ¿cuándo enviarás los productos? Ok. Ok. Escribilo ahí y si quieres. Para... Y luego Estoy poner, guardado. give me you, feel, give me you, ay, ¿cómo era la dirección de envío? Shipping address. Shipping address. Give me your shipping address. Y ya me das tú la dirección. Ok, entonces sería primero cuando enviarás el producto. Uh -huh. Ok, lo estoy anotando porque se me va a olvidar. Yo sé. Ahí sería, when are you going to send the product? Ok. Uh, the or your your packet or your pack um this um arrive or Ajá, como que llegará eh, the next week, algo así. Ok, ajá, seguro, me ajá. parece. Y yo te pongo, ok, thank you very much. Ajá. Oh, thanks. Thanks, ajá. And your package is arriving, y le da la fecha. Oh, ok. Entonces podría ser on, on Monday, o, ajá, on Monday. Okay. Um, Teacher. Yes. Los nombres propios no cambian, ¿verdad? No. No. Okay. El Salvador. Centroamérica. Ah, sí. Abajo uh -huh. de eso. Uh -huh. A ponerle el, tra el tracking number. Tracking. Tracking number. Tracking. Number. Tracking. Uh -huh. tracking. Tracking number. Dos puntos. Signo numeral. Y... ¿Cualquiera? Sí, sí, uh -huh. sí, sí. Uh -huh. Tres, cuatro... Tienen que ser dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, diez, once ¿Sí? dígitos. Once. Okay. Y mientras tres terminemos. Cualquier cosa. Ok, ok. Ah. Abajo de ese le puedes poner la quantity. La cantidad. Uh -huh. 
Titi. Ponele 70 units. Uh -huh. mm. Lee, quiero ver qué más lleva. Chitman. Chitman. Chitman es envío, número tal. Sí. Uh -huh. Chitman. Envío tal. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Chitman. Chip. 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 Transmisor. Transmisor o... o... Ese de... Sender. O emisor. Será lo mismo que transmisor. No, espérame. Ahorita lo veo. Si a mí me sale como transmisor, no sé por qué me trae. Transmi transmisor. Fíjate que a mí me dice que es el emisor. Repente. Ah, pues sí. Quizás es un. Uh -huh. Es un código. Vaya. Uh -huh. Sender. No. Sender. Teacher, ¿me puede enviar a mi grupo, por favor? ¿Qué le pasó? Ah, por tocar un botón, toqué el, el de salir, me creo. ¿Con quién estaba? Con Valeria. Valeria, equipo 2, ok. Vamos a Gracias, ver. teacher. Ok. Okay, guys, be ready to come back, please.
Okay, guys, I think that everyone is here. Now, a volunteers to present what you have done. Volunteers. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, we have volunteers. My, my, my partner is in a we're studying. Okay. Who did you work with? With Jennifer, right? Yes, con Jennifer. Yes. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, excellent. So, hello, good morning. May you help me, please? Uh, yes. Uh, may you um no sure sorry hi sure tell me okay so I need to send a package to Argentina. What is the shipping label? Okay, um, the shipping label uh, is to Barrio La Boca, number fifty. Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, but uh, your package is arriving in two weeks. Yes, are you, are you sure? Two weeks? Yes, I'm sorry, um, <laughs> sir, because is the our line is very um, is complicated in this in this um, in this day. For okay, holidays, so, and I okay. I hope you're comprehend. You you're comprehend. Okay. Comprehend. Comprehend. You are, talk, you, <laughs> you are talking about the first or the second week of, of December. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Sure. It's okay. okay. This information. Sorry for you. Um, <laughs> sir. Is the cost is two hundred dollars. Okay, that's right. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Okay. 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 <laughs> he is going to pay without any travel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that, but that, is, that, that is true. Yeah. Very expensive. <laughs> yeah. But he is paying it. Okay. Good. Okay. okay and Thank it you, is Jennifer. the shipping address. The only thing that you needed to say is what is your shipping address? Okay. Okay, what about the others? I can understand that you didn't uh, do your shipping a label, right, Jennifer? You just yes. did the conversation. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Okay, Berta. Hi. Hi, yo le comprendí que me quiere decir, I want to participate. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who did you work with, Berta? Rosa. Me, teacher. Okay, Rosie. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, comienzo, comienzo yo, entonces. Hello, sí. how are you? I hope that you are well. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. um, ah, no, no, no anotaron mis muchachitas. Sí, Ger, yo sí anoté. Ay, sí. Ah, ajá. Te lo leo Berta. entonces yo. <ríe> yo okay. ya anoté la conversación. Ok, read it. Ok, read it. Okay. ok, comienza. Hello, how are you? I hope that you are well. Hello, Rose. I have a question for you. Yes, tell me, when are you going to send and the product? Yes, I am going to send the product on Monday to the following shipping address and of the Santa Lucia Colony Street, no, Matasano Street between San Luis Street and Go and Guaje Avenue. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay, very good. Very good. Si Berta hubiera notado la conversación, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Next time. 
Okay, next time. Okay, good. Any other? Do you want me to look for your names? Okay, Jose Adilson in Kenya. <laughs> Jose Adilson. Kenya. Hola, hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, okay. Hello, Kenya. I am Adilson Baskin. Can I help you? Hi. Hi, Adilson. I. I Adilson Basket. Can I help? Again, yes, again, I, again, please. Yes, I can. I can need a chip. Okay, communication, communication. The labor. ¿Qué os pasa, chicos? Adilson. Um, la conversación eh, no la habíamos terminado, pero <laughs> proyecta el label. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. You worked in the in the in the ah, shipping este, label. Okay. Ahí lo, lo compartí en el chat, este Adilson. No, yo para que la co la teacher lo pueda lo pueda ver desde okay. la Permítame, voy a ver. Ay, espérame que no. Ay, crisis, ay, crisis. Ay, no, aquí está. Mira. No, you can't. Ok. Ya lo pudo ver. No, lo que pasa es que está no. pidiendo grabar, pero no es grabar. You need to share. Show, show chat preview. Share, share. Uh, chat. No teacher. No, you can't. No teacher. No, I can no. A ese se la puede compartir, pero. Okay. No. Try en el chat it? la mandé. No, pero no, no aparece. Bueno, I cannot see it. Can you see it in the chat? I cannot see it. Meanwhile, solventan cómo poderlo ver. Se lo puede mandar a Adilson y a Adilson que lo comparta, right? Meanwhile, ah. meanwhile, you do that process, we are going to listen to. Como no hay voluntarios, I have to say it. Ok. Um, ya se lo mandé a Adilson. Elsa en Valeria. Elsie. Valerie? Sorry, teacher. Tuvimos unos problemitas técnicos. You couldn't? No. Oh my God. Oh my God. What did happen to you? Ok. Y entonces yes, los últimos. Ok, I'm going, to... mm -hmm. I'm going to check it. So, Osvaldo y Jessica. Osvaldo en Jessica Osvaldo Jessica ¿Qué ¿Me puedes compartir por favor? Sí, sí, teacher, ahorita Ok este, Nosotros nos confundimos un poco porque <ríe> Hicimos una imagen similar a la que, al ejemplo no, que se nos mostró. No, pero eso está bien, eso está bien, eso es lo que te pregunté. Les dije, hacer la label y también hacer la conversación. 
Pero si ustedes okay. hicieron one of them, that is okay. Okay. Shipping to Colonia San Jose, home number 23, block C2. Soy Apango, San Salvador. To Reparto Mazariego, Metapan, Santa Ana. Tracking number 0123456778900. One, two, three. Quantity, uh, 25 backpacks. Manufacturing date, 15, 11, 20, 23. Uh, ahí sí, no sé muy bien qué significa net WT. Wait. wait. Okay, wait. Uh, 28 pounds. That's on. it? <laughs> no, but that is okay. You did like the 50%. The other classmate, they did the 50%. That is okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, guys. So Adilson, okay, Adilson did the same. They have the, the shipping label. You can click on it and you can see it. It is very similar to the one that Osvaldo had already presented, okay? Okay, good, guys. Very good. Now we are going to continue. And at the moment that you were working with the conversation, you wanted to include like um, different tenses in which you didn't know how to uh, structure your conversation. You got some little troubles. This is going to help you because, let me see, this is the one. Because we are going to study one grammar structure that is going to be very useful for you. Future be going to. Future be going to. What is this? This is what we have. Be going to for future. When we say future, the most common word that comes to our minds, it is will. I will go, I will buy, I will arrive. That is what comes to our mind. But, yes, Berta? Yes, lo mismo que el will. No. El going to. No. Okay, good question. Porque al final les aclaro what is the difference between will and be going to. Okay? Okay, thank you. With this grammar structure, we understand that we have future tense. But we need to understand that this is the auxiliary. Going to is auxiliary plus verb be. So together, we have the auxiliary. It is like a compound auxiliary. The verb to be and going to. That's why se llama be going to. ¿Por qué le ponen be going to? Because this be can be am, as, is, as, are, <laughs> are, is. The conjugation is different, but the conjugation will depend from the subject. If my subject is I, of course the verb to be is going to be conjugated as am. If my subject is they, my verb be is going to be conjugated as are. And if my subject it is she, the be is going to be conjugated as is. That's why we have three different conjugations for the verb to be. Now that we have already uh, understood that be going to it is the auxiliary. Then comes the verb. 
in the verb is going to be like in the base form. In the base form. So we are going to have different verbs such as buy, go, arrive, send, and any other. Uh, Berta? El going to es igual independientemente el, el, el pronombre. Siempre se escribe igual. Going to siempre va a ser igual. El único que va a cambiar es el acompañante, la otra parte del auxiliar. That is the be. Puede ser am, is, or are. Ese sí depende. Okay. Ese sí depende, sí o sí, del subject. Pero el going to, okay. en cualquiera es de el mismo. Ese es el mismo. Okay. Ese se mantiene. Thank you. Okay. And also, the verb, the verb, no va a cambiar, no le va a agregar absolutamente nada. That is going to be in the base form. Buy, go, do, play. In present, build. Oh, Se le llama base form. Base form. Ah, okay. In the base form. ¿Ok? Porque no tiene, eh, ¿cómo es? No tiene tiempo. In this case, it is in the base form. So I have one question in my question, my, my question, my sentence is, I am going to buy a new machine. They are going to go to Mexico. She is going to arrive tomorrow. Going to, going to, going to. That is one thing that you have to be very, very careful. This is not present progressive. This is not present progressive. You have to be very careful because maybe we can have one sentence that it can say, they are going to Mexico. What is the difference? They are going to Mexico and they are going to go to Mexico. What is the difference? El verbo. Uno no lleva el verbo. ¿Cuál no lleva el verbo? Es present continuous. Okay. This one is present continuous. Se parece mucho. Vean. They are going to. Pero aquí es donde dice Berta. No lleva el verbo. ¿Cómo no? Sí lo lleva. Going es, to. Es going. El oh. verbo es going. Pero en esta, going oh. is the verb. Ah, no. ok. Ok. No. Y en esta... ¿Sustituye el verbo en ese caso? No. No. Aquí vea, este es el verbo, ve. Uh -huh. Go. Pero en el present progressive, este es el verbo, ve. Going. Yeah. Going. ¿Y por qué going es el verbo? Porque todos los verbos lo vamos a poner en ing. ING. Yo, yo puedo decir, they are playing basketball. Playing, studying, going. Entonces, ese going tiende a confundirse. Este mm. going tiende a confundirse como que esto es present progressive. And it is not present progressive. This one is future, right? That's why mm -hmm. we need we need to be very careful when it is present progressive and when we have a future tense. Okay, so we have here, these are affirmative statements. But if I want to have negative statements, what do I do? What do I do if I want to say something in negative? They are not going to. Okay. 
Exactly okay. what you said. That is exactly That's it. Antes del going to or después del to be. That's what we have. And then the result for the negative is I am not going to buy. They are not going to go. She is not going to dance. After the verb to be and before the going to. This is a negative statement. What about questions? Can I write questions with the future be going to? Yes, I can ask yeah. questions. ¿Qué clase de pregunta es esta? Yes, no questions or WH question? Yes, yes. Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. Yes, no, yes, no yes, questions. No. Immediately, we need to identify that this is not a WH question. No tengo ningún. What, why, when, where, I don't have. So this is a yes, no question. And in this case, I'm going to interchange the auxiliary aquí, aquí no lo cambié this is a mistake okay esta palabra va aquí and this one goes here so I'm going to have am I going to buy para a machine pregunta. para una pregunta I'm going to start with the verb to be am I going to buy a new machine are you going to go to Mexico is she going to dance tomorrow Question. And the okay. possible the possible answers for this are uh, am I going to buy a new machine tomorrow? Sí. Que no te acuerdas que ya firmaste a los papeles. So I'm going to say yes. Yes, you are. Or I can say no. You aren't. Short answer, but I can say also give more information. I can say, yes, you are going to buy a new machine tomorrow. Or no, you're not going to buy a new machine tomorrow. I can expand my answer or I just simple shorten. The same with the other two questions. Are you going to go to Mexico? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am going to go to Mexico. No, I'm not going to go to Mexico. Is she going to dance tomorrow? Yeah, she's going to dance tomorrow. No, she's not going to dance tomorrow. You decide if you give extended answer or a short answer. This is a yes, no question. Then, this is what we have in the book. Now that I have already explained, we can identify the grammar structures that we have. And then, I have to identify this. I am going to positive. I am going to give you the information. The airline is going to transport the shipping. Your packages are going to arrive tomorrow. Where is the package going to arrive? Who is going to deliver, deliver, uh, deliver it? Negative. I'm not going to give the information. The airline isn't going to transport the shipping and your packages aren't going to arrive tomorrow. Everything is negative here. Be okay. going to, be 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 going to, future. Everything is future. 
we are going to work with some exercises. Y después les voy a explicar the difference between will and be going to. Right? Right. Okay. You have in your books this. It says, put the words in order, then answer the equations. These are equations. Digamos que está the exercise a little bit easier, porque ya están todas las palabras. The only thing that you have to do is to put them in order, to reorganize them, hacer la pregunta, and then answer it. Yes? Now you tell me, what is number one from the first one? Which is the first word for equation? Where are they going to pick up the package? Okay. Where are they going to pick up the package? Pick up the package. Pick up the package. Ahora escriban la respuesta in the chat box. Respondan esa pregunta. Where are they going to uh, pick up the package? ¿Cómo la contestarían? Ahora es lo contrario a los ejercicios que estuvimos haciendo at the beginning. Les presenté preguntas, ustedes hicieron respuesta. Now, no, sorry. Les presenté respuesta, ustedes hicieron pregunta. Now, we have the equations. Now you answer. On the stage. If I can leave you with anything, what I have learned as president is there is a critical difference between declaring the words transformational leadership and being a real transformational leader. Transformational leadership is not about one person, it can. Okay, comiencen a llegar. The company Expo Salva Planta 2. But how come, Adilson? I don't get it. Adilson, no, no comprendo. Porque la respuesta es... Ah, okay. Where are they going to pick up? The company yes. Expo Salva Planta 2. Mm -hmm. So they are going to pick up. Okay, the company is going to do it, right? Okay. Okay, entonces tendríamos que decir, the company Expo Salva Planta 2 is going to pick up okay. the package. Okay? okay, 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 okay. And Berta. Okay, Berta, Berta. Ojo, ojo, Berta. You yeah. say, I'm going to pick up the package. Me falta algo very, very important, Berta. Después de I, falta algo. Um. <laughs> okay, okay. I am going to pick up the package. Okay, good. Then Jennifer, they are going to pick up the package next week. Very good, Osvaldo. I'm going to pick up the package at the airport. Very good, Rose. They are going to, they are going to package in the morning. Okay. Rose, they are going to pick up. Pick up. Bad verb, okay? <laughs> okay? They are going okay. to pick up the package in the morning. Osvaldo, they are going to pick up the package at the airport. Very good. Now let us organize the second, the second question. Which is number one? Who? Who? Is, who is going is to going, who is going to receive the shipping. The shipping. The shipping. Ahora pongan la respuesta ustedes en el chat box. Okay, Adilson. Uh, para hacer una sola oración, solo le dejamos. The company Expo Salva Planta 2 is going to pick up the package. 
Ok. 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 They are going to pick up the package at the airport. The package, Rembert. The package. Okay, guys, the answer for question number two. Who is going to receive the shipping? Who is going to receive the shipping? Okay, Berta. She are or she is? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, remember that yeah. she conjugates uh, is conjugated no with is, is la primera, es la primera que tiene después de la okay. de la, Sorry, de la potito, is. okay? Okay. She is going to receive the package. My sister is going to receive the the, sh the 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 shipping <laughs> it is i am going to receive the shipping today i am going to receive the shipping he is going to receive okay very good now let us organize the third question when is going to arrive the new material okay when is going to Arrive, arrive the new material. New material. When is going to arrive the new material? What is the answer for that question? Okay, Berta, the new material. Okay, okay. ¿Y qué pasó el tiempo, Berta? Okay. Remember, going to, going to, going to, because uh, that is the future, right? Okay. Okay, Osvaldo, the new material is going to arrive tomorrow morning. It is going to arrive tomorrow, Rose. Yes, okay, very good. That is future. Okay, now that we have practiced this, I have the comparison between will and be going to, or the attendance, guys. This is the attendance. I'm going to stop here and let us um uh, work with the attendance in this moment. Que hoy hasta alarma puse. Otherwise, yes, I just forget. Okay. Okay, so be ready with your cameras, please. Then I'm going to continue checking the exercises, Jose Adilson, okay? Now, okay. let's start again. Let's see. Yes. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Present. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. 
Viste, Acá no estoy. <ríe> yes, yes. <ríe> José Adilson Vázquez García. Presente, yo. Yes. Uh, José Renberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Okay. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. <coughs> Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Hernández. Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Sí, aquí estaba. I didn't mention. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo. Present. Ok, Wilfredo. Uh, yes, ok, Kenia. Ya me había hablado. Sí, Kenia. Es que se me tuve okay. problemas con internet. Ok, ok, Kenia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Present teacher. Ok, y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Ok. Okay, guys, now I'm going to explain this. Okay, guys, so your equation is <clears throat> C will is for future and B going to is for future. Are they the same or is it something different? It is something different. They are not the same and we need to know how to use them and when to use them. We have this. Since all of you understand how to work with the auxiliary wheel, we have different contexts with the wheel. The first one it says, it is express. Express future as actions decided at the moment of speaking. So it says immediate decisions. What does it mean? Um, let us imagine something. Usted uh, se reúne con algunos amigos un día cualquiera. Um, maybe in the university, maybe um, in your job. Y de la nada sale alguien y dice, hey, let's celebrate, I don't know, maybe birthday, maybe a holiday, any celebration. And... Todas las decisiones in this right moment son immediate decisions. Y ustedes le dice, okay, let's prepare a party. Y todos ustedes están en esta reunión y entonces viene Berta y dice, okay, entonces yo voy a preparar los sándwiches. Ese yo voy a preparar los sándwiches, Berta lo va a decir. I will prepare the sandwiches. I will make the sandwiches. ¿Por qué va a decir will? ¿Por qué Berta va a decir I will make the sandwiches? Because you are making the decision in that moment. Y alguien más dice, for example, uh, Jennifer says, Ok, entonces si Berta will make the sandwiches, entonces Jennifer dice, I will buy 
the soda. I will buy some soda. Another immediate decision. Todo, todas las decisiones que tomen en that moment con quienes estén reunidos, they are going to be expressed with will. Ahora bien, in that meeting, veamos, no estaba, no llegó ese día, no llegó José Adilson. Y viene José Adilson y la siguiente semana se encuentra a Jennifer allá en Metro Centro. They eh, are by, right? Y viene Jennifer y le dice a José Adilson, José Adilson, vamos a tener una celebración. ¿Con qué se lo va a decir? Es en futuro, pero ¿cómo se lo va a compartir Jennifer a Adilson? ¿Será que le va a decir a José Adilson, we will have a party, we will prepare a party, or Adilson? We are going to have a party. We are going. going to. We are going to have a party. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí dice, vea. Express no se future, va a pasar. future plans, pero que ya se decidieron antes. Aquí se decidieron. In that right moment, cuando ustedes prepararon todos, ustedes decidieron y dijeron, I will prepare the sandwiches. I will buy some soda. Lo dijeron con will, pero tomaron decisiones. Pero cuando Jennifer se encuentre a José Adilson, ella se lo va a reportar así. Ok, José Adilson, we are going to have a party. I am going to buy some soda. Berta is going to prepare some sandwiches. Is going to, is going to. Porque son decisiones que se tomaron in the en past. el momento. No? En el in pasado. Uh -huh. El going to ya me está diciendo que ya la decisión la tomaron allá en el pasado. Entonces, es algo que ya se decidió. And that's why I'm going to say, I am going to prepare some sandwiches. Ya no voy a decir, I will prepare some sandwiches. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Yes? yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Another context in which I am going to use will, it says, express a prediction based on personal opinion or experiences. When I say, I think, I think this is a personal opinion. I think United will win the game. That is your personal opinion, right? So you are not going to say, I think United is going to win the game. No, you are going to say, I think United will win the game. It is a personal opinion. And also, we are going to use will with a future fact, a fact. For example, the sun will rise tomorrow. It is a fact. No es una opinión suya. It is a fact. Sí o sí, the sun will rise tomorrow. Sí o sí. Mm -hmm. ¿O será que mañana no va a salir el sol? Of course. Sí. Okay. Aunque llueva, <laughs> aunque nosotros veamos que aquí está nublado, pero el sol sale o no sale. This it is yes. a fact. Yes, every day. Okay. It is a fact. So you say, okay, the sun will rise tomorrow. It is a fact. And then for be going to, we say express a prediction based 
on present evidence. Ah, ok, también el will dice predictions, pero ya vamos a ver the difference. Predictions based on present evidence. For example, now that we have been in winter, ¿quién de ustedes antes de salir de su casa ha salido a ver así como está el cielo? Si está nublado, si no está nublado, para llevar o no the umbrella or maybe the jacket. ¿Alguno de ustedes Yo. ha hecho eso? Ok. Yes. Yes. Um, ok. Sí. Why? Porque no queremos cargar ni la sombría ni la jacket, right? So, but we, we want to be sure. Y entonces no, vamos... No queremos dejarnos, yeah, pero también porque no quiere llevarla por gusto, right? Ya, yeah. para no yes. mojarme la moto. Oh, yes, yes. You don't have options. Yes. Entonces, pero si usted ve que está súper nublado y está oscuro, esa es una evidencia de una predicción. Y usted dice, sí va a llover. Entonces, se lleva su sombría. And then you are going to say, look at, the, look at those black clouds. Aquí dice, it is going to rain. No voy a decir, it will rain. No, I'm saying, it is going to rain. ¿Por qué? Si mira el cielo como está. It is really dark, right? And uh, the last one, express something is about to happen. Eso es tiene que ver uh, something with the prediction. Si estamos hablando aquí, el ejemplo, okay, it is not uh, something cute, but it is related to a bump, and it said, hey, get back. The bomb is bomb. going to explode. Así Ooh. como el jueguito que hemos hecho, right? Okay? Ya no tienen opportunities. And then it's going to explode. Evidence. Something that is going to happen. Right? And also going to is when you have already prepared something. And then you say, ya está planeado. Okay, so me voy. Ya tiene todo listo. Todo listo. No es una posibilidad como es el will. Usted dice, okay, next coming December, I will, I will go to Guatemala. Sí, tengo dinero. So there is a possibility, <laughs> right? That maybe <laughs> happens. That maybe happens there. Hello? Hi. Okay. Yes. Okay, me desconectó aquí de la presentación, aquí la muchachita. Okay. No. Oh, sigo presentando. Yes. Sigue yes. presentando. Ah, pues a mí me cambió de pantalla. Aquí me tiene en otra cosa. No, <risa> okay. sí se ve la presentación. Ok. Es que dice que ya se quiere ir a dormir. <risa> sí, mire, me está mandando ya. Ok. <risa> ya siente que va llegando la hora. Ok, that is the reason why. Ok. So, this is, uh, mainly, these are the differences that we have with be going to and will. Okay. Okay. That is what we have mainly. Ahora ya saben that we can use two different structures for future. Indeed, indeed, no es para asustarlos, pero indeed we have five different ways to express future. Estas solamente son dos. Okay. But later, okay. little by little, little by little, we are going to yeah. advance using this. Okay. Now, como we have already understood this, now we are going to have to, act, 
two exercises, no, one exercise only, just to finish with this. In the chat box, I just want you to write down a positive statement using be going to. Positive statement. Any sentence, any sentence, cualquier sentence using be going to. Can you do it, please? Be going to. Okay, Berta. ¿Qué me faltó, Berta? No, ya. Yeah. Sí, pero me faltó algo important. ¿Qué falta? No sé. I going or I am going? Uh, ay, se me I olvida. Se going. cae en el camino. <laughs> en lo que le da a enviar, se cae el to be. <laughs> sí, se borra. Okay. Okay, I am going to work tomorrow. I am going to travel tomorrow at 7 a.m. I'm going to sleep. I am going to sleep. <laughs> the evidence is que ya se está durmiendo. <laughs> I am going to, to sleep soon. Sin el coming, sin el coming, Elsie. Solo I am going to sleep soon. Okay, ya le puse otro. Okay, vamos a ver. They are going to eat out tonight. I am going to go to the bus tomorrow. I am going to go to the bus. Rose, Rose, I am going to go yes. to the bus. <laughs> or I am going to take the bus. Ah, Porque okay, arruinó, take the bus. Porque se le arruinó el, 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 el carro, maybe, right? And then you say, I am <laughs> going to take <laughs> the bus. Y si no tengo, solo me voy en bus. Entonces mejor le cambiamos que va a otro lugar. No, no, ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I am going to go y pone un lugar. Okay, okay. Okay, Berta, I am going to walk one hour tomorrow. Okay, good. I am going to speak English tomorrow. Tomorrow and today, right? <laughs> Not only tomorrow, Kenya. And Remberta, I'm going to play soccer next Sunday. Very good. Very good. Y para cerrar, le van a hacer una pregunta a un compañero. Y el compañero la responde, of course. ¿Ok? A cualquiera. A cualquier pregunta, a cualquier compañero, ¿ok? La hace y se retira. Um, <ríe> no, falta one minute. <ríe> ok. Es que no recuerdo cómo se llaman. Ahí está, póngale ahí donde dice participants. Ahí salen todos los nombres. Ok. Solo que si tiene oyente, a ellos no les pregunte. Ok, any other one? Hurry up. Una no pregunta con going to va a ser. Yes, yes. Ok. Si, me, si contesto, me voy. Yes, eh, ahora eh, sí. Jennifer, oh, sí. are you going to go the court? Tomorrow? Yes. yes. I'm going to to go to the work tomorrow. Okay. Las dos quedan ya liberadas. Rose and Jen. Okay, bye. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> tomorrow. Bye. Good. Bye. Who else? Bye-bye. Good night. Nos vando. Nos vando. Aquí estoy. <laughs> You, you al are revés. going to... Al revés, uh, al revés. Dancing mañana, tomorrow. Ok, Berta, primero va el to be. Are. Osvaldo. You are going to dancing tomorrow. Are, Berta, yes. primero are. 
Yes, I am going to dancing tomorrow. Ok, ok, good. Osvaldo y Berta quedan libres, ok? Good night. Elsa, Good night. I'm here. Okay. Good night. I'm here. Okay. Good night. 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 Are you going to visit your parents tomorrow? Yes, I am going to do. I am going to do. ¿Cómo es eso? Uh -huh. What are you going to do? <laughs> La pregunta es... Lo voy a hacer, am... teacher. I am... <laughs> go. I am going to go. I am going to go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Queda okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adilson. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. Tell me. Okay, okay, Adilson, you ask me. Okay, I am going no. to... Are you going? Are you going to teach tomorrow? Yes, I am going to teach tomorrow. Okay, okay. Adilson, thank you very thank much. You. And good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Jessica. Bye-bye. <laughs> good night. Good night.